Thomas Crane Library. Uh, it's such a beautiful weekend, and I thought I would share my farm with you. My little farm. These are my ducks, and we have, this is Mrs. Pickles, right there. And, I'm sorry, Mrs. Pickles is in the blue. Gertie is just having a drink. And Buttercup is right there with the light pink. As you can see, we have a pool for them so that they, ducks love mud and water. So it's very important that if you have ducks, you have some type of water for them. Um, these are our chicks. This happens to be Brittany and Coco is the black and white one. I've had these chicks, I have six chicks, older chicks, that I've had probably for about four or five years. Now I have new chicks that we had done eggs with, and I'm going to show you those chicks. And these are Rhode Island Red chicks. They're, these we hatched from eggs. We had an incubator, and we hatched them in... Uh, they hatched March 3rd, so they're only that little. So as you can see, they do get big. Now, a lot of people don't realize that ducks lay eggs that you can eat. And um, I know my fellow workers at Thomas Crane love my duck eggs. And uh, these girls produce almost three eggs uh, a morning uh, for us. And I have a granddaughter um, Sophia and Michaela, who are my helpers, and Michaela, come, Michaela, come on over so you can show everyone how you collect the duck eggs. <laughs> Every morning, Michaela and I uh, collect the duck eggs, and this is the duck poop over here, and. Maybe, um, Hayden, you can get Michaela's uh, apron, the blue one. No, the other one. Yeah. Thank you. And this, who made this for you? Julie. Yes, Julie made this for Michaela. Uh, she's one of the program supervisors. Right. Yes, we did. We did that last night. Can you get through? Good. All right. <laughs> now, step over. No, 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 no. Right, right here. Put those the eggs right over here, sweetie. Good job. Good bouncing. All right. Let's count them together. You hand them to me. Okay. One. very difficult. Can I have that? And can you put your eggs in your pocket, your apron? The ducks are very chatty today. Huh? One, turn around and show everybody where you put your eggs. Great job. Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Pickles. Um, and I just wanted to show you, they love treats. And their treats are um, oh, there you go. Our mealy ones that they like. And ducks don't have any teeth. They have bills. So um, if you're ever at a place, a zoo or something, and you get nervous with the ducks, they don't have uh, teeth. They do have a bill. Chickens, on the other hand, have a, a beak. And they like to peck a lot of the time. So. Um, but this one, as you can see, <laughs> she likes to be roaming around. Yeah. And who else? Let's see. Coco. This is Coco. And Coco likes them too. And this is, these are the new ones. We haven't named them yet. No, but um, Snuggle, Snuggle, Birdie, 
little um, flowers. Pretty flowers. Apparently, Michaela has named them, so and that's eight. good. <laughs> They're not into the mealy worms. Now, we're going to take a jump over to the chicken coop. And we're going to see how many eggs we've got today. So here we go. We're going over to the chicken coops. And as you can see, I named all the chickens that are in this big coop. Coco, Wilma, Cookie, Lanta, Brittany, Christina, and Dolly. They all have their own personality. All right. In here is our chicken coop. Let's get... This is where the chickens roost and they lay their eggs. So we're going to have, Michaela can open, but we'll have Sophia grab the egg. And Daddy, if you can come in and, and show how the roosters are roosting right in there. So this is uh, Wilma, she's laying some eggs, but we notice over there, we have some eggs. All right, so can you go in and we can count them? Put them in. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Good. One. Two. Good job. Three. Four. Right there. And I think there's one more. Five. Great. Let's close it up and let Wilma have her privacy here. Give us some more fresh eggs. <laughs> now that we have finished collecting the eggs, which we caught five eggs, we're going to go over and show you our rabbits. And Michaela is our lady who what? likes to feed the rabbit. This is Mama and Brother. And we think Mama is going to have some kids. Indeed. Some baby rabbits, yes, so they like those. That's mama. And when they're having um, babies, they make their own nest out of their own fur. And the reason why we think she's having babies is because we found a nest in her heart that is having uh, some of her fur taken off. So, and these are, this is Lucy and brother too. They didn't get names. Just brothers, they're twin boys. So Lucy, Lucy is right there. And they're eating their carrots. They love carrots. Okay, good job, sweetie. Thank you guys and patrons for visiting us at our uh, My Little Farm. Um, we're going to end our little program with Old MacDonald had a farm. To really be old Mrs. Miller had a farm, but we'll do it the right way. You ready? Everybody get their voices going. Let's see. Old MacDonald. E-I-O. E-I-E-I-O. E-I. E-I-O, come on, sing, E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Come on, E-I-E-I-O. E-I-E-I-O 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 And on his farm he had a duck E-I-E-I-O With a quack quack here and a quack quack there Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O 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 E-I-O, E-I-E-I-O, Miss Donnie has a sheep, oh a sheep, with a bar here and a bar there, here a bar, there a bar, everywhere a bar, bar, oh McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, ready, E-I-E-I-O, 
E-I-E-I-O. 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 Come on, children. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there, here and oink, there and oink, everywhere and oink oink, old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, ready? E-I-E-I-O, E-I-E-I-O, he his farm, he had a horse. E-I-E-I-O, with an A here and an A there, here and A, there and A, everywhere and A, there. old MacDonald had a farm. Thank you, everyone, for coming. We want to thank you very much. And till we see you again, meet again. Goodbye. Welcome to my farm again. Um, today's episode, we're going to do some planting. Um, I have Michaela and Sophia with me, and we're going to show you to do a few planting. Yes, we'll wave some planting um, things. Um, this is a, a planter that you can order online, and it is for potatoes carrots or onions. Um, today we're going to do a little episode on sweet potato. Thank you, sweetheart. I have my helpers here. So, um, anyways, I wanted to show you. If you look at mums or your potatoes, if mum has any, and they're growing little, I call them eyes, <laughs> they're just little um, pieces. Let's see, where's our ones? They all have little purple, right here, little um, veins here that you can put. And that tells you that your plant, your potato is ready to put into your planter. Um, first of all, I want you to put um, four inches of topsoil and some cow manure mixed. Uh, do not use miracle Grow or potting soil. You want to use topsoil and uh, some cow manure. It works the best. Uh, under here, you're going to see there's a little window, and I'm not going to do it too much because um, you can see that there's four inches of soil there, and that's because as you grow these um, potatoes, you're going to harvest them through that window there. So we're going to take our potatoes, and you're going to put your eyelets, I call them eyelets, up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and we have six. Six potato, six hot, cut in half potatoes. So they're actually three potatoes cut in half. And they all have the little um, veins or eyelets in it. So what we will do next is we're going to cover it with probably another four inches of soil. And what you do after the four inches of soil, you're going to let it grow. Once it starts to grow and you have some greens that are on top of it, that's when you're going to put another four inches of soil on it. Uh, and at that point, there's no more adding of soil on it. Uh, and that, so that when they start to flower, you can look here to see how many potatoes you can harvest. Now, we did this with sweet potatoes. You can do it with regular potatoes. Now, another way you can do it is my son built these, and they're um, boxes just made out of uh, wood. And what you do is you would put the same four inches of soil there, and then you would put your potatoes in. Then you would have another box that will go on top of it and put the um, put the soil on top of it. Let it grow so that you have your greens there. Once your greens appear, then there's a third one that goes on top of this and then you will let it grow. And then you will harvest this from the bottom. 
This is a better technique because you can get excess to the potatoes once they have grown. Uh, but this is just another way of doing it um, that you can do if you're um, talented with uh, doing uh, any type of woodwork. All right, so we've done our potatoes. Now, another thing, we're going to do some seeds. I let the girls do some seeds. You can use old, um, uh, I call them Dunkin' Donut trays that they put the uh, coffee in. You can use these because you can put these right in the ground and they will um, uh, disintegrate. Uh, so what we have, in, or you can use old egg cartons to plant the seeds in, and this one, and without the eggs, right? So you can use those. Today we have some. And they're for eggs. They're for eggs. And here we have, here, we have one of those. And maybe um, Sophia and Michaela, you can, uh, Sophia, you can fill up the egg crate. And Sophia, you can fill up this. I mean, Michaela. Sophia, you use that. And here, we'll put them right in. Here, use this right here and fill up each container with dirt. Perfect. Good job. Today we're going to plant some zinnias, marigolds. The other day we did some zinnias. And these are great because you can put three or four uh, little seeds in each container and then plant it as a unit for here. Uh, another thing you can do if you're planting seeds, uh, you can use Go and get store-bought ones and use those also um, to plant right in your garden um, and get some nifty tomatoes. But right today we're going to do some seeds. So if you want to fill it really up a lot, good job. Same with you, Michaela. Good job. You're doing a good job here. And, and over you, here. And you do like Oh, yes, absolutely. You can use your hands. Because you can't do it because it's too hot. It is? All right. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to put some dirt in here. So we have some right here. You can share with me. I'm going to always share. Because I love you. I love you, too. So you're going to take your um, container, and it will look like this. So once you get it in, and I do recommend if you're going to have start them inside, because there's holes there, make sure you put them in a tray or uh, something that won't leak all over mums. I use these old trays because now the weather is getting warmer, so we can do them outside. So until they uh, get to sprout out. So good job, Michaela. Now you want to pat it down so your soil is kind of uh, tight there. Yeah, perfect. Same with you, uh, So We're a little windy here today, so. Um, all right, now I'm going to ask you very easily, everybody's got a finger, so take your finger and make a hole in the middle of your dirt, which is Perfect. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at those holes. Now I'm going to give each girl some of these uh, seeds. Okay. I wouldn't do it in the middle one, but I would do it right here. That would be perfect. Do you have a hand? Can you turn your hand over? And Mimi's going to give you some seeds. So you're going to take a couple of seeds, like a hand pinch bowl, okay. and you're going to put them in there, and then you're going to cover them. Okay, can you do that? Yep. Perfect. And so let me know when you're ready. And we're going to put some seeds here. There we go. Look at that. Simple. Simple. Okay. Are you ready, so or no? Not yet? Yep, he's ready. Well, she's got to push him down here. And, put, and make a hole. Make a hole with her fingers. Yeah. Good job, so here. Now you want to do push it down and 
put your finger in the middle. You have all yours. Oh, you're doing a great job. So you want to try here? Okay, good job. So now I'm going to give you these and you're going to put a few in each thing. Here, here's some more. Good job. And you want to make sure that you label your tray of what type of flowers you put in there. So we'll put, we'll just take a uh, marker and put marigolds, because that's what we're going to do. Marigolds. That is, all right. Now, now that you've got your seeds in, Michaela, we're going to water them. That's important. You need some sun and some water, right? And it might be advisable Whoa. that an adult. Whoa. Whoops, that I know it's coming out, but you gotta be careful, right? <gasps> Good job. Is that our special? That's all right. Come on, you're a farmer. You gotta be so we'll just leave that one right there. Oh, Perfect. You have to now play. you're gonna do this you need one. More seeds. Can you put, you need more seeds? Can you put some more? Yeah. Well, we have another pack right here. Yeah. Okay, oh, here, let me give soap first, okay? And then you can do this pack right here. I think this pack has already had seeds in there, see? Yeah. There's a seed there, so we'll have to leave that. Here you go. Put your holes in for me. Can you do that? Perfect. Good job. One, two, three. And then I'll give you some seeds to put in. Where's your hand? There you go. This is kind of a fun. I got water. I got water. Well, that's all right. You can put them in. I like, I like a lot. You like a lot. I know. We're going to have beautiful flowers to go beside the chicken coop, right? That will be perfect. Absolutely. Good job. She's doing a good job. So, do you need some more? There you go. Oops, wait a minute. Here. You want to make sure you open up your container because they have lots okay, of... Okay, I need to Oh, now you've got to cover your seeds so that the dirt's on them. Here, let's give a little more dirt here. Perfect. There's rock. Yeah, well, it might be. Oh, there's rock. It might be the soil that's hard. Once you get it into the box. No, it's a rock. It is a rock? No, I need to cover it. We don't want the rock. I'll put it in my sprinkler. Okay, fine. There you go. Good job. Okay, so now, Sophie, you done? You're covering? Mm -hmm. Good job. You're covering all your seeds so they'll germinate. I'm going to make a pizza with my dates. I'm going to make a pizza with my dates. <laughs> That's how you make a pizza. That's how when you're going skiing, you yeah. make a pizza. All right, right. And then this is like pizza. All right, so we know these are all marigolds, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Are so we marigolds, have them right there. Are you want to do No, we'll water them. Yes, we, we will. We water this. Yep, yeah. and then you can put your cover over it so until they germinate. That's one thing nice about that one. All right. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little episode of planting. And as I said, Get out there and plant all sorts of uh, different vegetables and flowers for your uh, garden. See you another time. Bye. 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 Bye.